So I've brought um, bag pads to keep the shape of handbags. Um, so we have different shapes and we have different materials. So we have fake fur, which is very fluffy and nice. And then we have velvet, so in different colors. Um, so actually my auntie, she's a handbag collector and she, um, she had this problem. She was like, why is there nothing to put inside the handbags? other than plastic or paper or, you know, your scarf or sweater or anything, really. I mean, for example, there are some styles of bags that really don't hold their shape very well at all if they are um, just being stored. And we would always advise that if you can, ideally, you keep your bags stuffed when stored because over time, it will just keep the shape and keep the bag in its most pristine condition. Yeah. So it is a problem that I hear as well with our clients. Um, we spoke about briefly, you know, examples that I don't have to be, but the speedy bag, for example, that always falls yeah, and it falls in on itself. It's a tricky bag. So a bag pad would be ideal and customers have asked me in the past for such things. And all we can say is bubble wrap, which is what we personally use yeah, over and over exactly. again. So yeah. um, I think it's, um, it's perfect really. Yeah, and it's a more uh, long-term solution. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, for example, if we just have a look at this bag as it stands. So the Mulberry is a, a, a particularly popular style of bag, I think. As you can see, I mean, it's a very, very popular style of bag. I know an awful lot of people who may own a Mulberry and a Bayswater, and they're still mm -hmm. extremely sought after. So as you can see, this bag, it doesn't sit very well at all if it's not stuffed. Yeah. And if you're not using this bag, ideally you wouldn't want to keep your bag in a position like that, whether it's in a dust bag or not in a dust bag. Exactly, and it's bad for the leather as well. Absolutely, you would get creases in the in the leather that you wouldn't want that would potentially be hard to take out over exactly. time. So which does, which pad would you suggest? I would suggest this one. So this one is called um, the Birkin 35 because it's made for the Birkin 35, but we can also use it for many different other bags. Uh, so we're, we use that one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what I always find um, when we stuff the bags, especially with the base water, is that it's surprising how much stuffing you need to put in it to really keep it shape because of how much space this bag holds. Like it's really, really roomy. And when we stuff them for display or for storage, we always try and make a point of keeping the corners sharp. And, the, and this, I have to say, fits. Let me just do this up. Because it's very impressive to see how well this one cushion fits and how much bubble wrap we would have to really put in this yeah. to, to make it as good as this in terms of the stuffing. So that is, um, that's very, very impressive. We use bubble wrap. I mean, we do reuse the same bubble wrap, mm -hmm. but we have a large amount of it and we keep using it over and over again. Yeah. And it does take up an awful lot of room. And um, so what would be the benefits other than, bubble, other than a bubble wrap for using the bag pads. Exactly, so obviously the bag pad is a more long-term solution. In that way, it's more sustainable. Yeah. And it also has a moisture absorbing feature. So it keeps the bag. So it keeps the leather yes. the best quality it can be for as long as possible exactly. and as supple as possible. Yes, exactly. There's so often that you'll find over time as well that the leather may dry out and so that yeah. would keep the leathers moist it's, mm -hmm. it's a very good feature. And how, how have you done that with the bag pads? So we have put silica gel inside. So the silica gel, mm -hmm. what is that? Sorry, in terms of what So it's have. like the, the small sachet that you get with the tiny little packets. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, so you've exactly. added those, that's very genius. Yeah, so we've just put it inside the bag pad instead. So does that, I mean, in terms of these, I know that we're talking about them in terms of stuffing the bags, but that, if I wasn't using it at the time to stuff my bag, I would absolutely throw that on my on my sofa exactly. and have that yeah. as a decoration on my sofa. Exactly. I mean, surely that that's also that the purpose of yeah, my yeah. brand. Just to make them look nice and you know. And is your branding? So your branding, it would be on the front of some, and and it's very yes. subtle on a lot of them as well. Exactly. So we have either um, just a tiny uh, logo tag, mm. and then we also have it visible on some of the bag pads. We also have patches. So different uh, like bees and tigers and 
butterfly patches that you can put on on the bag pass. So I could pers- so if I chose one of these, I could personalize it. Yes, with exactly. A symbol. What about if I wanted to uh, put a monogram on it? Or... Yes, we do monogramming as well. That is yeah. perfect. So you can put your initials in gold, for example. Or I could even make it directly associated with the bag that I was putting in if I was yes. completely in love. Let's say with my Birkin. Exactly. <laughs> Um, I was keen to also see um, what you would stuff in the Damier keyboard ah. because I find that again this is a particular popular bag. I mean, I just see these around quite a lot, yes, and it's very um, they're so roomy. Mm-hmm. And in terms of keeping the shape of this, and we, when we stuff these at fellows with our bubble wrap, it's very difficult because I also find as well that because I say we reuse the bubble wrap, it's yeah. always sticking out here and there. It's really hard to keep it all down, all mm-hmm. low, and out of sight, really. Yeah. So what would you use to stuff? So for this one, I would also use the same. So should we have a look in 35? So you can reuse the same exactly. bags. Exactly, yeah. yes. So even if it's called Birkin 35, you can still use it for many different bags. So if people were just to phone you and say, I've got this bag, mm-hmm. I suppose all you would need is the measurements. So basically, with us and purchasing from us, mm-hmm. we would always make sure that you have all the measurements for the bag. So let's say someone wants to purchase a bag from Fellows, from us, what we would do is we'd provide you with the measurements. So from that, they could go to easily, and I suppose on your website, there's mm-hmm. listed in terms of, we give the base width of each bag. So if they wanted the widest top edge as well, we can obviously provide that as well. But mm-hmm. this, all you would need to fill this would be the base edge. And as you can see, this 35, this Birkin 35 fits perfectly and it's just completely not visible from the top edge, which bubble wrap would normally be always very, very visible. So what about um, looking at a Chanel handbag? Mm-hmm. Because these are incredibly sought after as well. Yes. And people would always want to try and keep their, I mean, if it's not in the box, which we should always keep if you have got the box, it would yes. always a good idea to keep them stuffed as well. So that is the caviar. So that is already quite sturdy leather, mm-hmm. but you'd still absolutely recommend keeping that stuff yes. if possible. So what size would fit? So for this one, we would put size small. So this one we have in um, with the logo. So that fits better, but also the bags obviously stand up so much better yes. when they're stuffed exactly. properly, even yeah. with bubble wrap, because again, the weight of the bag isn't normally even depending on how we stuff the bags. Mm. With the bag pads, the bags just stand so much straighter and so much firmer exactly. which again is an absolute positive for whether you're displaying bags whether you're storing bags if you can mm-hmm. store them all and they're all standing flush exactly. and they're not flopping over and they're not over on top of each other yeah. they will actually last so much longer so how would we look to store and stuff a Birkin or a Kelly handbag okay so for this is the Birkin 35 so for this one, we would obviously use yeah, the, the Birkin 35. 35. <laughs> so for this one, and obviously the storing of, of the Birkin bag. Ideally suggested to, to store it on its side. Yes, so like this. But then we, ne- we still need something to fill it. I think it's quite important, especially with the Birkin, because no matter how sturdy the leathers are, depending on which one you buy, mm. they do tend to sag and flop over time. Yes. So I do think stuffing the Birkin is an absolute essential. Mm-hmm. And when you've got these cushions that are designed specifically for each size, I would absolutely recommend this for longevity of your handbag. Exactly. And this is also very important for the corners. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and then we have the Kelly bag. This is the 28. For this one, we also have its own bag pad inside, which is already here. So even with the sturdier Kelly bags, I think it is still ideally yes. suggested that we keep them stuffed. Yes. So that fits in absolutely yeah. perfectly. Yes. And they're so lightweight as well exactly. with those cushions in. Yeah. It doesn't feel any heavier at all whatsoever with exactly. the cushion in or whether it wasn't in. Yeah. 